In the previous unit, we ran SWOT simulation and performed a data check. In this unit, we are going to visualize output or results from SWOT. There are multiple options to view data or results from SWOT simulation. So we will just explore some of them with only one variable. And the goal here is to demonstrate these visualization capabilities and then you can explore and play with more variables. So click on visualization. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to select our scenario. So if you remember in the previous unit, we named our simulation as model one. So that's what we will do. And we also picked the reach output. So this is what you will see here in the output table. If we had picked more output tables they would show up here our start date is from 1st january 2004 and end date is december 2010 which is good and depending on the machine these interfaces you can move them and make sure you are able to see what you need to see so this is the output which is fine the variable so in output.rch file there are multiple variables so flow underscore in is the flow input to the reach and what we want is output from the reach and again there are all these variables that you can explore so we will use flow underscore out so flow underscore out gives the discharge coming out of each reach in cubic meter per second so that's why the name flow underscore out CMS and we will add that once you hit the add button this will show up here so you have to make sure that you select this and then you say create and once you do that you will see this visualization comes up so this is what you see here as a map so this is giving you an aggregate view of what the output is from each reach for this watershed next we are going to use the print option and what this will do is it will create a layout map of that now if you want to create a figure in an article or your thesis you can use this option and just use this layout as a figure in your document. So this is how you can use the static visualization in QSWAT. Now let's look at the animation option here. So in animation option, we will again use the flow underscore out dot CMS. And there is this map canvas and then there is print maps here so we will use map canvas so in animation we can actually create an animation on the map here so in the static option we got an aggregate view of what the outflow is from each reach in animation this will change as we change the day so we have the start date we have the end date and then there is this play option which is the start button you can pause and you can rewind so let's go ahead and hit the play button so map canvas means you will see this on the map so that's why i moved this here a little bit and then hit the play button or start button And if you don't see much action going on, you can change the speed to 10. And then you will see that things are moving faster now. So as the animation is playing, you can also use the start recording option. If you hit that, then it will record this animation and then it will turn red. And then if you want to stop recording, you just click on it again and it will stop recording.
and since it's creating a video file it does take some time and then it will tell you where that animation was saved and if you want you can play that recording later so this is how the animation option works now let's look at the plot option so for the plot option we can pick the reach within any sub basin so in this case we'll pick this sub basin which is sub basin number two and we can pick the variable so again there is a lot of options here so we'll pick flow underscore out cms and then we will hit the add plot button and then it will show you the scenario model one reach sub basin two and we are going to look at the variable which is flow underscore out cms and then you can hit plot so after you hit that plot button what it does is it will create a csv file of the time series and it is asking you where you want to save that csv file so you can pick any place you want to save so in this case we will save it inside the scenario so we can just say plot one underscore flow out and save and then it will create a plot in this case hydrograph for you if you want you can save this image there are options to edit axis and other parameters associated with this and if you want to zoom in zoom out so you can do that okay and then this is it as far as visualizing output from SWOT goes so let's go ahead and close this visualization interface and this is it as far as visualizing SWOT output goes so we looked at the static option animation we also looked at how to visualize the hydrograph and to keep it simple we looked at only one variable depending on your needs you can add more variables in that in those visualization options and visualize those so this is it for this unit minimize this and save your project and this actually completes this module so if you want you can push this ok button and save your project